for six months. Like I said, we're seeing so much change and growth in this month. So much. Um, we also went on our second beach trip. Um, and she loved the pool, still hated the ocean, still hated the sand, loved the pool. We are always in the pool every day. Um, she was still constipated, and that's when we started doing the juice. Um, I, actually, I think on the beach trip, I did it every day. She had two ounces until she went, and then I switched every other day, and that's kind of when I started the every other day, is on that beach trip, the second one. And then, um... We had lots of singing, okay? So around six months, maybe the end of five months and the beginning of six months, she started singing to me. I'll insert a video of that too. Mary go round and round and round we go Where it stops nobody knows It ain't slowing down This Mary go round Jack and Jill went up a hill. Jack burned out on booze and pills. Mary had a little lamb. Mary just stumbled him down. Good job! <laughs> All done. And she started singing along with me and it was so cute and we found her favorite song. Now her favorite song is Never Enough from The Greatest Showman and if she's ever sad and I sing it, like, she immediately is, like, <laughs> so happy. And, um, it's just, it's so cute to see. Like, she knows the song because I can sing any other song and she'll still kind of complain. But she knows that song and she stops and she loves it and she'll coo along with it, which is so fun to watch. Um, So that is happening at six months. She is into everything. So six months, I need to, woo. Now I regret sitting up down here since she's not with me. So as you saw, she's still into everything, but six months is really when she started like grabbing things and touching things. And at first it was just grabbing and touching and wanting to see, um, like if you held her near something, she'd grab it because she, um, wasn't scooching yet so she wasn't army crawling or scooching she had just maybe started scooching towards the end of six months but not fully army crawling um so she started just grabbing things and <laughs> i don't know what i wrote <laughs> toys good lord <laughs> She also, at six months, started loving toys. Um, before that, she really wanted nothing to do with some toys. It's funny, at physical therapy, they would introduce it to her, and she'd look at you like, you're an idiot. You think I'm going to play with that? Like, this is literally the face. I like ad-libbing her faces, by the way. <laughs> A lot of it's inappropriate ad-lib with cuss words, and I can't say it, because that's how she looks at you, like, <laughs> like you're an idiot, and it's hilarious. Um, but yeah, she just looks at you like, it's almost like my dog. We have a dog named Roxy, and she looks at you when you throw a ball like, I'm not getting that. She doesn't fetch. She doesn't bark. I'm not convinced she's a dog. My video timed out on me. I guess it said I was talking too much. But I'm not convinced our dog's a dog, and Presley was the same way with toys, where she didn't want anything to do with it, and we just kind of stared at it. So, um... Now at six months, she was wanting to play with toys and it was fun and cute and made me feel better because I had all these toys and I didn't think she was ever going to play with them. So um, she just started becoming interesting in them. Like even like these little play things, she wouldn't, 
she wouldn't play with these really. She kind of would hit it a little bit but find no interest and now she grabs them and tugs them and hits them and it's so much fun to watch. Our six month checkup, she was 16 pounds, nine ounces and 27 inches. So over two pounds in two months and um, we did get a fever after the shots again at six months. Um, Seven months. Oh, this is also at six months. They told me nothing was off limits food wise except for um except for honey. They said honey has like a lot of bacteria and stuff in it and um they didn't want me to give her that yet. So at six months we also did a lot more veggies and that's when they really started coming into play it was six months so four months was rice cereal five months was fruits and six months was veggies and fruits and seven months jumping into seven months nothing was really off limits except for the honey she has tried ice cream which i will reinsert a video because it's the cutest thing ever she licks her lips and i had it in my last video but it's too cute not to put again so i'll reinsert that here Yeah, look at her. Look at her. <laughs> I've never seen her lick her lips for anything before. Not at all. But this chocolate's good, I huh? The chocolate. Oh, I don't want to give her too much because her first time having chocolate. Mm, he's silly. He's silly. <laughs> lick those lips. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get that it was all. hilarious. Get all that chocolate. <laughs> and um she starts scooching everywhere. I will also insert a video of that. Gotta be quicker than that. Oh, no. And um, everything goes into the mouth at seven months. So seven months is what we're currently in. And literally she grabs something is in the mouth. She's teething so bad. So bad. Um, I think this is where, yes. So this is where she got both of her top teeth seven months it is I think it was around the beginning of seven months both these top teeth came in and now also in seven months one of the teeth right after the top tooth is coming in as well and then the other one's starting to poke through I kind of mentioned this earlier um, so she's about to have four up top two down below seven months when those big ones came in and let me tell you she started biting me and I did mention this in my husband buys me a car vlog she bit the crap out of my nipple. Oh my God, and she kept biting me. So, I asked Instagram for advice and what people have done. A lot of people didn't have anything to say. A couple said, if you figure it out, let me know. Um, and then I had a couple things of advice, but some of it was like, well, didn't pertain to me or, um, or I had already been doing it. Like, it was kind of a gray area still after people gave me advice one thing someone did say that did not pertain to me but could to you is that if you are um uh noticing that the baby like presley would bite me in the very beginning and she said her her baby would bite her in the end when she was bored so when she was done feeding and bored and just kind of playing with the nipple that's when she would bite so i had the opposite problem where she was biting me in the very beginning um and so, for me, I was like, okay, well, she's not bored. There's something going on. It's like the first initial bite. It was almost like she was trying to make sure that's what it was or 
almost like a teething thing because she'd bite really hard and then start sucking. But I don't know if she did it when she had the bottom teeth and I just didn't feel because she didn't have the top teeth. But as soon as those top teeth came in, this became an issue. So, someone else gave me advice saying they had to make sure that there were no distractions, breastfeeding, um, a quiet room. And I could understand that and I could see where if Presley was distracted, she might bite because if she's distracted, she kind of like tears off my boob and that can sometimes hurt. But I also was hoping this was not the case. And if so, I need to fix it because, and it kind of is the case with her. If she's distracted, she kind of bites a little. But I don't want to always have to breastfeed her in a silent, calm area. So I need to fix things. Um, I pay attention to what people told me. Um, it was in the beginning, so it wasn't at the end. And then also what I started to do, and this seemed to work, and she hasn't done it since, is um, initially I was just yelling at her like, no. No, like really stern, like no, and like almost scared her to where she would come off of my boob, and I would say no, and then I stuck my finger in, and if she bit again, I'd say no again. Um, so, and then after that, she was fine. So I started noticing, maybe I should stick my finger in beforehand. So now, every time before I feed her, I stick my finger in, and at first she would bite my finger, and I'd say no, and then I'd go to put her on my boob and I'd say, easy, easy. Like, kind of like teaching her. I almost sounded like I was disciplining a dog, like about to take a treat. But <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I did, was I said no when she bit my finger and then said, easy, easy. And after a couple days of doing that, I stick my finger in now and there's no biting. It's literally immediate sucking. But also, and this was some advice that was given to me, I wait till she's super hungry. So part of the board thing is if you feed her before she's super hungry, that's when she might bite still. Um, so I, I wait till she's really hungry and then I feed her and that also will help stop the biting because they just want to drink instead of play. Um, but that wasn't like the huge case. The huge case was I think she just always did that and I had to teach her not to. Um, so yeah, the finger thing really worked. Just I just kind of and she's she hasn't bit since then and she doesn't bite my finger anymore and i kind of stopped even putting my finger there um so that's some advice if your child bites your nipple <laughs> okay what else um so everything goes in the mouth she can go now from um sitting to on her hands and knees um so she'll kind of crawl forward and go hands and knees or crawl sideways and go hands and knees this is at seven months as well. And then a little bit of the vice versa where she can be on her hands and knees, which she does by herself. She goes from belly to hands and knees all by herself. And then um, sometimes, I've seen it a couple times, like two or three times, where she will sit up, which is very hard to do. So I'm so excited she's doing that. But it is not a constant thing yet. It's just something I've seen every once in a while. And sometimes I have to help her by holding ha down that other leg to give her kind of the momentum to sit up. But that's so exciting and I'm just so happy about that. And if you were in physical therapy, like we are, these milestones are huge and they're such a big deal, especially since we work on every single movement like that. I never knew how much went into crawling. I never knew how much went in from the crawling position to the sitting up and I had to specifically show her how to contort her body to do that and now she just does it by herself like it's it's crazy what all goes into it and i did not have to worry because of aiden but again i'm getting into a physical therapy video but it's crazy like these milestones are so cherished by me now and when other parents i mean other parents cherish the crawling thing but you might not notice all the little in between things that i now notice because of physical therapy um so she's not always on her hands and knees. She's rocking, which is so exciting. <laughs> and then I told you she's taking two little crawl steps. Just two. <laughs> and then um, I have noticed she goes days where she is like constantly on her knees and then days where she's constantly on her belly. She did figure out quite quickly. We were trying to get her to crawl. And I will insert a video of this too. Come here. Come here. Come see me. There you go. Go get it. 
Yeah, she's been trying to stand like that too. It's so funny. Come on. You can do it. There you go. A knee and then a hand. There's a knee. Where's the hand? Good job. There's the knee. Do the knee again. Up, oh, squirrel. <laughs> You, that was your first one. Good job. Come on. Come on. That was the first time she did it like that. That was really good. Wow. Come on. And um, we were trying to get her to crawl, and she started and did really good, and then she quickly figured out she could get to the toy faster if she just army crawled and scooted. <laughs> so once she once we figured that out, we had to take all the toys away to really get her to like rock and crawl and want to use her knees. Other than that, if she's going for something and really wants it, she is like down on her belly and going because she realized really quick, she's so smart, she realized really quick she can get it a lot faster that way. Go get it, Presley. I mean, this way so much quicker. <laughs> uh oh. Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> and then at seven months. It was the first time we put her in her crib. If you haven't seen my video, go back and watch where I first, baby's first night in the crib. And one night sleep training. <laughs> oh, my husband. Bless him. Um, sleep, that actually, it really did work one night, just letting her fuss and cry. And then literally this is kind of how I sleep train her still or get her to um, go to sleep. I put her down after a feeding. Sometimes she falls asleep feeding and then I lay her down. Sometimes I rock her for a minute and then I lay her down. Whether she's awake or asleep, I lay her down. And then, um, cause I gotta get my snuggles in a little. And then I lay her down and I give her her passy and we have this like Fisher Price, um, a little fish thingy. Like I think everybody's see those little blue ones where the fishes move and it looks like water and all that. So I put that on and she kind of stares at it a little bit and Every once in a while, she will fall asleep like that, but most of the time, no. So then she gets up and she starts fussing and crying and fussing and crying. And I do not go in until she is extremely crying. And not just like, ah, but like constant wailing. And then I go in and usually she's on her tummy just staring up, trying to look at the door and look to see if I'm coming. <laughs> it's so cute. And then on her belly because that's how she likes to sleep I just give her her passy I help her lay her head down and I rub her back so I did this at that time today and it worked great and that's all I had to do and she went right to sleep um, and sometimes I kind of like lay there and rock her while she's laying in the crib also if if that doesn't work I let her settle down I do that or I correct her and do that and then we leave the room again and we let her get herself worked back up and then I go back in there and then that's when I'll pick her up and I'll hold her and I'll settle her down. And usually she falls asleep. If it has to get to that point, she usually falls asleep then. Um, but if for some reason she calms down and she's not asleep, I do put her back down and we kind of start the process over again. So um, it's just those two or three things and it has worked great. She um, has gone down super easy and um, I really, like that and again like if if I lay her down and she's kind of asleep or she is asleep and I lay her down and she starts to wake up I just kind of rock her like you okay Aiden? Yeah I'm just trying to make her laugh. Okay he's just trying to make her laugh. <laughs> I just kind of shake her back and forth. Y'all I'm so blessed that I can trust him. I have cameras up there anyways <laughs> so I can see them both but um 
super blessed. He's such a good big brother. Um, also, at seven months, we have gone through sleep regression where she is, I think she's going through a growth spurt because she is waking up in the middle of the night and feeding once or twice a night. And it is killing me, you guys. But um, I think it's a growth spurt and she's just going through, all these babies go through these changes constantly. I think we also did it at five months, six months, we started regula regulating out with sleeping and seven months we're regressing again. And um, she is feeding and after the feeding she seems to be a little okay. Sometimes she's up and just, kind of lays there and is really nice about it um but she is hungry it seems like so i think she's going through a gross spurt but that is it you guys i am so glad i finally did this i'm so upset that i got so far behind and i'm hoping i can stay on top of it for eight months nine months and do one each month because this was a lot of information and a lot of stuff and um I just would prefer to go month to month, especially since these were huge milestones and I clumped them all together when they could have been such great months to talk about like individually. But that's neither here nor there. I got it done and I'm super proud about that. And um, if you like this, give it a thumbs up and I'll do more sit down videos talking about stuff. If you have suggestions, leave them down below. And I'm really enjoying this, you guys. So, um, yeah, thank you. Thanks for hanging in there if you watch the whole thing. And thanks for following me and subscribing if you subscribe. That's pretty awesome. But until my next video, bye guys. near her as soon as she does. <laughs> she thinks he's the funniest thing to walk around. Oh, oh, you got me, you got me, you got me, mm.